Digital transformation is a tough thing to explain. The way I try to explain digital transformation to anyone is, imagine a river, and you get to stand beside that river as an advisor to a company. And constantly floating down that river are little crates, and in each one of those crates is a new technology or a fad or a new product. And it's your job as a company to quickly evaluate each crate going down the river and identify, does that have something in it that can help me? Does that have something in it that could hurt me? And how hard is it gonna be for me to jump in the river and fish out the crate and, and drag it back and try to make use out of it? And that's the really hard part. And a company that tries to reach every single one in the river and pull it out is gonna quickly find themselves exhausted and overwhelmed and have a hard time trying to cobble together what they just pulled out of the river. A company that's falling behind says that's energy and effort that's not necessarily always worth it. So I'm gonna just stick with what I've got. I'm gonna let those sail on past me to the next person standing behind me on the side of the river. But a company that's really good at digital transformation, at, at applying technology for competitive advantage, is good at seeing that crate float by, quickly deciding is that crate worth it, and then once I've got it on the shore, can I quickly put it to work so I can get back to looking at the river and seeing what's coming down. As a company, if you have a center of excellence of, of data scientists who are developing things, really valuable things, but they're hard for you to leverage in other departments, other groups, or even commercially publicly, Posit Connect in this context was one of those that you quickly see coming down and say, like, okay, this is gonna work. To me, it's a little underdog technology that helps us bridge a really big gap.